Hi, my name is Kristen with First Updates Now, and I'm here with Team 5511 Cortex Robotics. Uh, can I get you guys to, to introduce yourselves to the audience? Yeah, so I'm Sharia. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I love to do programming and outreach on the team. Uh, my name is Ankith. I run strategy, and I'm a junior on the team. My name is Abijit. I'm the captain, and I'm in 12th grade. All right, awesome. So tell me a little bit about the robot, uh, some of the features that y'all worked into the robot, and, and how y'all came up with them. Uh, so basically, on kickoff day, uh, on kickoff day when we were coming up with our strategy, our main goal was we didn't want to try to do everything, which is something that has plagued us with issues in the past years. Uh, so the main thing we wanted to do was to be able to climb and secure a ranking point, just because we thought the rocket ranking point would be uh, more rare in comparison to the climb, and that we'd be able to uh, rank at the top of the state if we were able to climb. Uh, and we decided to focus on the lower levels just because we didn't see the need to do the rocket levels and that there was enough points at the bottom since everything was equally weighted. Uh, and then Abhijit can talk about the climb. Yeah. So uh, this is our robot. It's named Astrostite, or Astro for short. Uh, these four bars you see here are our climber legs. They basically push down and lift our robot up. And then we can move forward and lift one set at a time to get onto level three. So this is the main focus of our design, and everything else is based around it. So you can see uh, we have very strong uh, gussets holding everything in place, and it's mounted directly onto our drivetrain. Uh, and then we have a hatch mech and a cargo mech on the inside. They basically were built after the, car uh, after the climber, and they were designed to fit around our climber. So we really value getting the climber in and then adding cycling as a second uh, priority. Awesome. So it sounds like y'all really thought through strategy, and it sounds like that worked out almost perfectly. Um, can y'all tell me a little bit about some of the outreach y'all do? Maybe y'all have a cool team tradition? Yeah. So one thing that Cortex, that's unique about Cortex Outreach is our mobile workshop expo. Mm -hmm. So through this expo, we try to target underserved kids, so the kids who maybe haven't heard of STEM or don't really get the chance to play with Legos. So we actually t based off our curriculum off of first material, and we supplemented them with well-tested STEM activities that have been iterated for a full curriculum. And we actually go out into the community, and we really spend time and engage with and build personal connections with these kids. So we started in Garner Community Center, then we went to Daniel STEM Center, and our goal by the end of three, three years is to hit all 22 community centers in our area and make an impact. Well, that's awesome. So it sounds like y'all are a well, uh, really well-rounded team and y'all are off to a great start. Um, y'all are ranked at what position at this point? Y'all are fourth ranked at this point and we're just going into lunch. So uh, good luck with the rest of the competition and we'll see you guys on the field. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.